Today I'm sitting with Chloe and she has an incredibly non-traditional role in pharmacy in veterinary pharmacy. So before we talk about anything else, let's get right to the questions. All right, Chloe, could you just describe a little bit to everyone your role in veterinary pharmacy? So I'm a veterinary pharmacy resident at the University of Wisconsin, so I will be a pharmacist for animal patients. And part of the role will be dispensing in the pharmacy that's in the veterinary teaching hospital, and part of the role will be clinical for all the inpatients, all the inpatient puppies and horses <laughs> and cows. And I'm going to be doing research and also teaching a class. Okay, walk us through this interesting path. How did you get to this role? When did you start looking? Who did you talk to? How did you find it? And what step-by-step -step led you to where you are today? I first heard about veterinary pharmacy at an interview for a school that I didn't end up going to, and it was shot down by the person who was leading the interview. And so I kind of got discouraged. So I didn't really pick it up again until P2 year when I did some searching and found that there was a residency at NC State. and. Um, it sounded kind of perfect, so I wanted more information. I tried to email the residency coordinator. I didn't get a response. I emailed her a few times, couldn't get a hold of her. Emailed someone else in the system who put me in touch with the current residents, which was perfect because they both emailed me kind of their step-by-step -step of how they got there, told me to join this organization that existed that I had no idea existed, which was the Society, Society of Veterinary Hospital Pharmacists. And so I joined that. I started volunteering at the Humane Society, getting as much experience as I could since it wasn't really offered through the college. We didn't have any rotations, we didn't have any classes, so I did pretty much anything I could to get any sort of experience. And then through the organization that I was in, I found out that there were three residencies this year, so I ended up applying to all three of those. So what future career goals is this particular veterinary position going to help you achieve? So I'm not sure about my long-term goals. I don't know exactly where I want to end up. I just know that animals are my passion and I want to end up somewhere in veterinary pharmacy. So kind of my goal of this residency is to figure out what my options are and go from there. And the way this residency will help me is because I haven't had any experience with veterinary pharmacy. It hasn't been offered through our school. I haven't been able to get a uh, rotation or an internship or anything like that. So. I figure throughout the next year I can kind of figure out exactly where my place is within the veterinary pharmacy world. What information do you wish you would have received earlier in your pharmacy career? I wish earlier in my pharmacy career that I would have known that there are more options than just residency or community because even though I hear people say that all the time, I didn't find it true through school. So I wish I would have known that whatever you want to do you can make happen. Like, just find a way to do it and make it happen. If someone asked you for advice, Chloe, what three steps would you tell them to take that they could take next week to get on the veterinary path that you're currently on? Find someone who is any, any, in any way related to what you want to do. Find someone, talk to them. They'll either know someone, they'll have advice for you. Find someone to talk to. Um, number two would be to find an organization, which coming from me is a big thing because I was not the biggest organization person throughout pharmacy school. I feel like I didn't have time for it. And then I found this organization called the Society of Veterinary Hospital Pharmacists that was all about exactly what I wanted to do, and it was an email group, and I learned a lot through it, and I didn't really have to do much. Just find something that encompasses what you want to do. And then number three, to get some sort of experience in what you want, whether it be an internship, a rotation, volunteering. I ended up volunteering for the Humane Society to get experience with animals, more experience than I already had. I took compounding rotations because that was related to the veterinary pharmacy world. And I took a peds rotation because like peds, the animal world doesn't necessarily have a ton of research behind the guidelines for treatment and things like that. So anything that's kind of related to what you want to do will help get you farther towards where you want to be. Thanks for watching. Please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the emailing list on the nontraditionalpharmacist.com. We will not spam you. We promise we will not spam you. What we will do is provide you first access to our interviews and the exclusive content found on the nontraditionalpharmacist.com absolutely before anyone else has access to it so you can start exploding your pharmacy network.